Welcome back to Minecraft. Hello, Malinka, Iko, and Elfie. Hello. 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 As per usual, I'm Fireweaver. I haven't changed my name or anything. And uh, we've had an update on the server, quite a major one, uh, bringing us lots of new toys. So this episode is all about the new toys that we've been given. And I think the best place to start is on the IC2 pod and show off the new power suits stuff, shall we? We shall. Charge! Rangers away! So, uh, first thing is with the uh, power tool, I'll start here. They've added multimeters for those using uh, universal electricity mod, which we're not. So you don't need to worry about the multimeters. Um, they've got a in-place assembler, which if I just show that now, that's a crafting table. And also, uh, before you could just like right click and it would fire off your, your plasma cannon. Now you have to actually select it with a shift on a scroll wheel and then that will fire off your laser beams. Um, so that's how you control the lasers. On the headpiece, uh, we've got night vision, which I've installed on here. Um, that's you'll see when it comes night time that actually I've got like a daytime view, so it keeps it light. But it's still night time outside, so all the mobs still spawn as per usual. It's just our view of it is bright. Um, next, we've got flight control. Now, flight control. If you push uh, K. Um, I've assigned a button to flight control because one is a it's a bit weird to control because it moves in a strange way. It's fine, but it does move in an odd way. Uh, so I just turn off flight control off um, to get the control that I need at times. Although I'm pretty rubbish controlling it the best of times. But anyway, yeah. So it does allow me to now hover in place. Which is very useful. Like was bullying me, he keeps punching me off the tower. What? No, no, I didn't. What? Um, okay. There's now solar generator, <laughs> so that we can power up using the power of solar power. This auto feeder, I recommend you do not use it. It eats up so much power so fast, it's ridiculous. And what it does is it takes the meat out of your inventory automatically and feeds it to you without you having to actually eat. But it just plows through all your food, plows through all your power, and it's just like, just don't use it. Just eat manually, it's not that big a deal. Um, what else is new? Uh, kinetic generator on the legs. Yeah, kinetic generator. If you move around, then you generate power. Apparently it's very good. I haven't installed that. Um, needs control circuit and servo motors. Yeah. I won't worry about that for now, it's fine. Uh, Anything else that was new? And on the tool, uh, the blink drive. I don't think one of us built it yet, though. Oh, yeah, the blink drive. Uh, apparently, it allows you to blink. Same thing I as was getting my ender pearl, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure if it does actually consume the ender pearl or not. But they're the changes, as I say. We've, uh, I've put in two of those. Oh, no, three of those. I've put the night vision in. I've put the uh, crafting tool in and the what's the last one the flight control that was it okay uh what's next zycraft zycraft's been updated yay we love zycraft um you know that all these blocks that just look good and that's all they've been doing well one thing is they've changed the look you can tell particularly on these black bricks um and also if you look up here the red bricks up here they just look different not much, but they do look different. The um, Cycraft crystals have changed a bit, so they look a little different from before. But we also have they machines. They look pretty cool. So um, I'm just going to grab a couple of stacks as I corridor And the first one, and you've probably seen in the corner of your eye maybe these things already, but these are called fabricators. And fabricators do crafting for us. They're basically special crafting tables. And they pull from each other's inventory. So, if I had, oh, if you look here, this recipe has got the crafting table in it. Plus, it has blue engineering bricks in it, which, as you can see, is not in this table. However, on the right-hand side table, 
um, is crafting tables. Bear in mind, I've been testing it. And on the right hand side, there isn't any engineering bricks made. But if I put the materials in, um, in this case, some blue zycoridite, and I believe over here is there's already some redstone waiting. So now what I need is stone bricks. So let's get some stone bricks. And drop those in. It makes the blue engineering bricks there. And over here, it's taken what materials it did have and made me four fabricators before it ran out of iron, I guess. So that's pretty funky. So let me um, show you some more features of this particular table. Uh, I'm just going to dump one here for a second. And I'm just going to get some wood. And we'll start off and I'll just turn all this uh, wood into planks. And hey presto, they all get turned into planks. Now, if for instance I want to turn those planks into chests, that's pretty easy too. I can go into uh, any eye, select chest, and push the question mark button and it imports it in. But you saw, maybe I didn't want to make 32 chests, maybe I only really wanted to make one chest. Not a problem. You just set it to pulse mode. So now I've set it to pulse mode and I'll just grab uh, some more planks. Uh, I won't use all of it this time. Uh, just That will do. Oh, I'll tell you what, there we go. Okay, now it's set to pulse mode. If you look and I put the wood in, it no longer makes the chest for me, which is fine. That's much better. Now I've got a bit of control over it. Um, but to actually make it do that, I'm going to actually... Um, a button is usually better, but just for... Oh, actually, I can do a button. It's, it's, let's actually do that. It's a piece of stone into a button. Here we go. So if I now put a button on this fabricator like so. So right at the moment we've got 32 chests and the wood is there. If I push the button it makes one chest for me. So it's now 33. And if you notice as well on top of the, the fabricator the recipe is shown on the top as a graphical thing. That's kind of smart. And every time I push the button it makes one more chest for me. Everyone digging that? Oh, You can show off the night vision. Oh yeah, it's night time. Oh, you can see it now. Look, it's all it's all very bright, even though it's night time. Um, I haven't got it set to a key thing to show you the difference, but don't worry about that for now. Um, right, so over here on the IC2 pod. Sorry, I'm talking a lot and not get you guys haven't got a word in edgeways. I'm just like, ah. We don't love to hear your voice. Covered. It does look like I've got this covered. So over here I've used a system <laughs> showing a bit more advanced. So this fabricator here is making a furnace. This one is making machine blocks. This one is making um, generators using the machine blocks, some furnaces and batteries. The batteries are coming from over here. But copper cables need to be made. So the copper cables are being made here. And just because it's part of the recipe, um, electronic circuits, which all kind of combine together to make solar panels. So it's not very, it's not balanced, it's not perfect, but I just wanted to show proof of concept. So all I need to do is is feed the, the raw materials in, and it will go and craft everything. So in this case, I think I am low on refined iron. Uh, just to make the bun. Just to make the pun, so you're feeding this beast. Oh, and you're short on cobble as well. Yeah, and cobble. If you uh, st stop exploding things, it's noisy. Um, yeah, bring me a bit of cobble and some uh, refined iron, and I can show. There's the refined iron things. next to you in the project table. Some machine blocks. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'll take some of those. Uh, that'll do. You can show off the crafting table. What do you mean, the crafting table? Oh, I uh, used up all the cobble already when I put it in. 
Oh, okay. So, right, so now we've got some furnaces in, and now I think the system is literally just waiting for refined iron for these machine blocks over here. So I put it in here, like so. You can see it was started to make stuff and made me more free solar panels. And I've been using this a little bit, and I've already got up to 48 solar panels now. It's really fast, it's great. So that's fantastic. I will make use of that because at some point this, um, I think what, what have we got up here, medium voltage solar arrays, we're going to make a whole bunch and turn them into high, uh, at least one high voltage solar array at some point. Not today, but that's on the plans. Cool. Um, what happened to those squeezers, Malinka? They're in the chest, ready for the uh, episode. Oh, okay. We have to chest night nice. court. Cool. Uh, I have to go for a second, sorry. Telephone. I can hear it, it's fine. Uh, okay, so... That was very jolly. It was, wasn't it? Uh, that's for future episodes. God, I'm spoiling stuff. Um, right, I don't need these anymore. This is just for, for show. But what I would like to do is valves. Because um, that's something else that I'm going to be building in a moment. Uh, again, this is from Zycraft. And if I get the recipe up here and push the button, you can see that we need more engineering blocks, which I've got 48 of. Fantastic, that's enough. Uh, I need some iron bars and a bucket. That's all easy to do. Uh, I think. Is it going to miss jump? I had a whole bunch of iron bars earlier. I don't know where I put it though. Ah, oh, don't make me make more. That'd be annoying. Hmm. I think I saw some over here. Oh, I'm back. Sorry yeah, about that. Right. It'll be in the episode chests. No, it's not. What did you do with the iron bars that I put in the episode chest? Um, moved them towards the underground place there. <laughs> oh. With the rest of the iron bars. What do you mean? Underground Where do you place? need them? I'll go pick them up quick. Uh, I need them like right now. Uh, maybe I'll just go make some more. Nah, give it a second. I'm I'm actually nearly there already. Okay. What's so the anyway, you to use those uh, iron bars. <laughs> uh, I could probably do some more buckets as well, actually. So let me just make a couple more buckets. There's actually a recipe that uses iron bars. Okay. Yep. A few actually. Incoming bars. Well, there you go. Uh, just to prove that there's a few. Um, still loading it. There's iron tank valves, liquid fueled fireboxes. Yeah, there's 28 recipes that use iron bars. Well, the most of them are lamps, and they're different colours. So yeah, iron bars. Got my linkers popular this morning. I can use phone going off all over the place. Anyway, so I put the buckets in here with the iron bars, and they'll start making me valves. Way more than the way more than I ever need, but that's fine. Now, the other thing I want. Again, new stuff from um, Zycraft is these. So I need some glass, I need some iron. Again, easy stuff. So, some glass. Let's take a couple of stacks. And some iron. Oh, it wasn't here. Uh, that'll do. So I take my glass view recipe, put it in here. And it just needs a bit of glass, a bit of iron, and a bit more glass. There we go. Cool, now I've got about 100 glass viewers. I love these fabricators, they're insane, so good. Um, yeah, definitely recommend people use it. By the way, they'll also interact with any inventory next week, not just fabricators. If I say put a chest next to um, say here, filled with wood, it would then extract everything from the chest instead. <sighs> Back yeah. again. Normally I get one phone call every two days or so, and now I get two in 15 minutes. Cool. I'm quite popular in, uh, for a change. <laughs> um, Elfie and Ico, can you grab mm -hmm. yourself um, two stacks I of aluminium blocks, please, each? I've already got three stacks on me. Oh. Well, can you pass some to Ico and Elfie, just so they've got something to do? Of course. Yeah. 
here you go and there's a stack for you as well and just to make it fun here's one more stack in the middle of you fight fight I think Althea won I see, I'm nope. just, no, I didn't. I'm thinking ah. about it, and I'm just on the safe side. I'm gonna make some more of um, these glass viewers because it'd probably be a smart idea. So let me do that. Oops. There we go, that makes me a happy bunny. Now I've got lots. Okay, so let me explain why I've got these. And uh, yeah, this is uh, to show that we've been busy with the bees. <laughs> busy with the bees, like busy bees. I think we've made that pun about 15 times already. I know, Still fun. It's <laughs> true. But uh, I've got refined bees. They're quite difficult to get to, and you should look on the wikis on how to. To breed. The reason we haven't been doing this on camera is because it's time consuming. Like, this took me a, like a, a full day's worth of breeding and stuff on the server, of just like pissing about with the bees. I know it's no one's cup of tea, but they're really, really useful when you get them. So, I got refined bees, and what they do is they make two type of uh, propolis. One is these, which I'll just grab a few stacks, and one is this, and I'll grab a few stacks of that, which is. Petroleum propolis and oily propolis. Propolis? Propolis? I'm not sure. Can you um, grab Either way, it sounds good. the squeezers, Malinka? And follow me and everyone else. Will do. You've got liquidux and all that? Yes, I've got all of that stuff, yeah. We do need to get power over here, but that won't be a massive problem, I don't think. We can take power? Of this, this line. Oh, there's a line underneath, isn't there? There should be a line, else I'll grab an energy test rack. Uh, no, there's a line underneath my feet, I'm sure of it. So we'll go grab that line in a second. Anyway, so, uh, Ico and Elfie, where have you gone? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, can you build two tanks the same size as this? So one will... Uh, what's the space between these tanks? Uh, we'll have enough room for squeezers, so let's say start one tank here going one, two, three, four, five across. Two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five. So if you replace these glass viewers, Elfie, if you take this one, and Ico, you take that one, and uh, start building the frame to make this, and I'll fill in it, the glass viewers. Oh, by the way, glass viewers, connected textures, yay! <laughs> Normally reserved for high res packages and all that. Yeah. So now they're they're working on that. What I'm going to do is um I'll go look for the power supply. Where do you want uh, the power? Um do you know how we set up the uh biofuel? Yep. I was hoping we could manage to do a similar thing over here, although we've got less space. We've only three machines. We may be able to do it. So I want three squeezers um, to take um, the. Pr yeah, because you don't need as much, do you? Uh, room. So you need three squeezers into um, so that we can squeeze the propolis that I've got. Okay. Uh, you want the squeezers between the uh, biofuel tank and the tank uh, LTS building? Uh, yeah, and uh, uh, no, three of them there, and then three of them. Um, in between the next lot, so this you should have made six. Oh yeah, right? yeah. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Okay. okay, going to work on that right now. Uh, let's see. One here. Oh, well, that's just perfect, actually. <laughs> First block I hit. Uh, what do I found? The power line. Awesome. I knew there was one that was running underneath. Um, are those solid on top or glass on top? Glass on top. Okay, cool. So we've used aluminium because we've, there isn't still much use for aluminium right now. So we uh, we thought, well, if we use the aluminium blocks, they'll look a little bit like the iron tanks. 
but you can use anything it doesn't have to be the aluminium it can be whatever thing you like cobblestone stone I think the only thing it can't be is like grass I think that might be the only thing <laughs> can really you throw me some power lines? I don't think you can use sand either oh yeah, sand and gravel you're right uh, you want the power lines yet? Yeah, no problem uh, I got do you want the one I made one bigger? and here's some that's bigger enough ducks. thank you as well oh always a good idea uh, sorry, say that again. One taller? Do you want this? No, I want them to be the same size as... Oh yeah, yours is one too short. Sort it out, I can't. Yep. I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll let the audience decide a suitable punishment for you. I decide, I, I uh, suggest flaying. <laughs> okay, as long as I can wear my power suit whilst you do it. <laughs> what's flensing? Is flensing where you take someone's like skin off? Flensing? I thought that's what. Uh, what? I've never heard of it. I thought flaying was taking someone's skin off. Elfia, might I work where you're standing? Ask the audience. Answers on a for the friend. Answers on a. I was gonna say postcard, but answers on a comment below. Answers on a comment card, peoples. Comment card. <laughs> Put it in your suggestions <laughs> box, and uh... <laughs> no, that's fine. Uh... And we'll ignore it happily. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's just mean. Oh, God, I'm rubbish at controlling this. Even with the flight control on the flying, I'm still out of control. He's a maniac, run! So... He's out of control! These aren't actually made uh, yet, these tanks. So, how do I make the tanks? Well, fairly simple. They're missing something important. And in this case, uh, Malinka's face is in the way. Uh, but I'll just break this glass for you. Steal this glass. And if I put a valve here and then right-click the valve, it forms it. And you can see it now glows. Whenever you're looking at the tank, it glows. And if you look inside, it stores 576 buckets. Now, let's compare that to the same size tank over here, which stores 2,400. So Zycraft's tanks are smaller. However, they can be expanded to be bigger than any possible size of iron tanks, actually. And you can connect tanks together very cleverly in Zycraft. But um, to make up for the fact that they're so cheap to build, because they are, they're very cheap to build, they actually don't store anywhere near as much. Which is fine. We don't need an awful lot of what we're making here. Cool. Uh, you've got your wrench there. Cool. Um, there's going to be a problem, Malinka. Uh, which is? You built them one too close. How are we going to activate the um, liquid ducts? I can't get a switch in front of them. Hmm. Switch beneath it? But I see your point. Oh, yeah, no, no that's good, yeah. We'll just do that. Absolutely. Um, in fact, I think I've got everything I need for it. Um, Watch out for the power line there. I'll blast you and... Alright, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to move this power line, aren't I? Oh god, there's all sorts of lines going underneath here. Oh my god. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I thought only power line uh, went through here. What's uh, what else is down there? I'll take a look. It's the uh, oh. tubes to send stuff back up to the. Uh, oh, indeed. Room. I didn't realise they came all the way out here. Well, that's one of the switches. Then, uh, one... See, one would go... Oh, not there. One would have to go here, but it's blocked. And then one would go... I don't know if I'm even going to manage it, but I'll try. There. Alright, I'll see what I can do about this middle one in a second. Let me just flip the switch here. Oh, looks like Elthia just crashed. No worries. 
it would be fine. No, I was relogging because my bags have disappeared and I got a bit worried, but they've come back now that I've relogged. Um, I can't put the switch. Maybe it doesn't need it. I don't know. Apparently I can't put a switch on the glass. Uh, what if I place hmm. the switch here? No, I can't because that's in the way. You also need to form that tank. I was looking for my only wrench to take the liquid duct off because you can't click the valve to form it. Oh, okay. Is that working now? No. This one is lighting up, but that one isn't. You, you built a duff tank, Elthia. You No, I didn't. Uh, take the liquid duct off of it. Holy shit, what just happened? What? Oh, my kit has turned into iron bars, clay, string and shards of minimum. Um, yep, same here. Yeah. Why is there a red line here as well? Oh, relogging fixed it. Fixed it. I did wonder I think why found I some fly, trying bugs. to fly with minium. Oh, no. Weird. Yeah, there's some weirdness going on here. I'm getting the chunk boundary showing up and all sorts. Uh, anyway. Whoa. Every time I try to uh, activate that tank, it actually screws over my gear and I need to relog. Okay. Uh, where is. Maybe try replacing the valve? I don't know. My wrench. Here we go. Okay. Oh, you're right. There's some weirdness going on here, isn't there? Okay. Yep. Let's if your inventory is screwed right now, you'll need to relog for a second. No, I'm alright. My inventory. Oh, it is a bit. When screwed. I try to do it, it, um, all my items duplicated and some disappeared, and then the second time, my armor turned into half of my inventory, which is a bit weird. Oh yeah. Look at that. Uh, right, I'm going to pause the recording while I sort my stuff out. One second. Okay, we're back. We're not sure what the problem is. We think it's to do with raft lamps. So we've taken some out. There might be more mob spawns down here. Um, yeah, I, I remember reading about it. And I think it's fixed in the, in the next update that we'll see, but yeah, right now they're broken a little bit. So to fix it, what we did is we put a valve on this side because we knew it worked from there. Um, formed it from here, then put the valve over here, and then formed it again from here just to make sure. So I don't know what it is, but it's something to do with a lighting bug, I think. Anyway, squeezers. So let's make this one, um, let me think, yeah let's make this one the oily one. And that will squeeze away, oh wait a minute, let's do that, okay. It's the uh, reason I got free here is I'm going to automate the whole process at some point in the future with the bees um, automatically dropping their uh, propolis into these tanks, well, into these squeezers. So this is, oh, this is making biofuel, eh? Oh, I thought petroleum gave you something else. Petrol. Alright, well we've got more biofuel production in this tank. Guess we'll need to put it the other way then. Uh, don't worry about it for now. We'll store an extra biofuel as like an emergency, oh crap we've lost everything thing I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. They're all switched on, and oh. they seem to be working. I didn't. F I thought if you cooked oil in the refineries, it made like that yellow, bright yellow liquid, the one that looks like pea. 
the uh, petrol. Yeah. In a way, biofuel does seem more appropriate, seeing that it comes from biological bees. Yeah, like this stuff. Look, fuel. Not biofuel, which is this straight stuff. fuel. Just straight fuel. That's what well, I this thought. oil. Uh, but, but the petroleum propolis is making biofuel. It's not making fuel fuel. Oh well, that's a surprise because that's actually messed up my plans a little bit for fu for saying that I was going in the future. Not completely, but it's a bit weird. I wasn't expecting it. Well, I do have some ideas. We can always uh, thank uh, get the oil somewhere else, refine it, and get the normal fuel. Yeah, well, I was gonna like the idea was is that I was gonna have a refinery line as well, and refine into this same tank, so that it was half being squeezed in and half being filled from the refineries. Okay, diving on the internet, see what petroleum uh, propolis does. Oh God, I'm recording, aren't I? Oh, sorry, hello, audience. Mm -hmm. is, this is how we generally talk when we're just <laughs> like working on problems on the server. Sorry, I was gone miles away there. Um, <laughs> okay, I, th I think that pretty much covers the Zycraft changes. Like, uh, there's some details and things, but that pretty much covers th like the major points. There's some new um, other blocks, like planter blocks, that you can place underneath plants to make them grow quicker. There's a fire-based block, which is basically never brick. And there's an ice block that you put next to water, it turns things to ice. And there's a water block for auto generating water, which actually has some good uses because it doesn't flow. Anything it touches um, can. You can use like a cobblestone generator. So, say for instance, you've got a lava block next to this water block, then um, it will uh, interact without throwing water all over the place because it's just condensed into one block form. Uh, we'll show that in a future episode, anyway. Um, cool. Uh, anything else for you guys? You happy? Bouncy? <laughs> so happy. Okay, it seems that uh, I just checked the Feed the Beast uh, forums, and we're not the only ones surprised by this. Oh, what, with the, the petroleum yep. things? Yeah. Seems that it's a common misconception. Oh wow! Well, there you go. Now I'm just common. A common misconception. How rude! I <laughs> to be fair, still better uh, than a common criminal. Petrol isn't really biofuel. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's not exactly eco-friendly. <laughs> <laughs> but we're getting a nice amount of uh, oil here, and I've got loads more oily propolis upstairs if I want to fill this thing up. So it's kind of nice. All right, um, um, I think we we'll wrap up here. Uh, Malinka, Ico, and Elfie, and myself, Fireweaver. We'll see you next time. I don't know where Elfie went, but yep. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.